so over this at this point. I'm back on my microdose this morning. Was I ever optimistic yesterday when I said that I thought I could push through, grind through yesterday and not have to come back here on Monday, simply just have a work day? I'm here for about three and a half hours today and then I have a facial and then I have to work this evening. So yeah, I've got three hours to grind it out. My goal is to get the suitcase finalized and to get the bins that are going to BC or getting shipped out to BC finalized as well. Um, I did some laundry yesterday, which is on the floor in the bathroom. Also have to figure out that, but uh, yeah, I need to fold that laundry, decide what's staying, what's going. You'll be surprised to know I didn't get fresh today for lunch. I got Copper Branch, so I'll show you. This is also another great vegan place in Toronto um, to order from. They're really consistent. This is the general towel bowl. So there's brown rice, there is cabbage, sesame seeds, broccoli underneath there. This is like Szechuan fake chicken that's actually made out of mushrooms. That's like amazing. And uh, yeah, lots of goodness. I'm excited to dive in. I'm really over this at this point. I'm in my bathroom right now and like my skincare, hair care, this is gonna be the difficult part. Mostly just like skincare, like my face mask that I'm going through because I honestly feel like I have half of a suitcase full of skincare and I actually use everything. I love using all different types of face masks. like. You guys know this about me, but it just feels like very overwhelming to do here and in my bathroom because I have to be out of this place. Like I have to have everything ready to ship to my parents tomorrow because that's when my friend um, Nicole is giving me a ride to FedEx. Like everything's all scattered all over the ground as you guys saw in my bathroom. And I'm just picking everything up and putting it into one of these bins and on Thursday, I have the whole day before I fly out. Um, I also have like most of the afternoon on Wednesday after I hand over my keys at Leah's house to go through this to minimize it and to declutter. So that's my game plan. I'm gonna do this later because it's causing me a lot of angst and I can't decide right this moment. I also did a huge Sephora haul because it's the Sephora sale right now. So I have a bunch of skincare I'm gonna be arriving at my parents' house soon to bring to this country because I just wanted to make sure that I had all my faves <laughs> because it's like what I care about. And yeah, so <sighs> the end is near. I'm just so over this at this point. I'm, s I'm so done. here of packing things up. Tomorrow is my walkthrough. Oh my gosh, I'm feeling so excited. I also, I'm back on my microdose this morning. <laughs> so I am just feeling like unstoppable energy around this place. Today is organizing and finalizing these bins for my parents. Of course, packing up the two suitcases. We've got the donation pile. <laughs> and just taking care of these loose ends, which are going to, um, yeah, Sam 
and these two are actually going to Scarlet. It is, I think, close to 12 noon right now, and Nicole is coming here at 4 p.m. to help me pick everything up and take it, uh, take it to FedEx, take it everywhere that it needs to go. So we are well on our way. I have a feeling it's not gonna take me very much time, so I'm gonna order some fresh and get to it. So this is the goddess bowl. It's actually my all-time favorite from fresh broccoli bok choy Tempeh ginger spicy chili sauce brown rice sesame seeds mm, So excited. So we had a great question from Kelly again um, Kelly you always have the most amazing question. So thank you for asking So because I told you guys I booked my Airbnb more recently like as in this week um mm, I love broccoli so much <laughs> Kelly asked like wasn't I nervous about kind of waiting like last minute to do something like this honestly no not at all it was just the next thing to fall into place and for me when it comes to booking things like travel or like spending money anytime I'm doing something like with intention I like to wait till I'm in the right headspace, energy space, or I just get inspired to. Similar as I shared with you guys that morning when I just decided to book my flight, it's like I wait for the inspiration to hit and then I do it. It just feels like I'm not forcing anything and I'm in flow and I just trust by honoring my energy around that that I'm always receiving, let's say, the best flight or the best Airbnb because I do it in a time when I feel intuitively drawn to making that commitment if that makes sense and also in the realm of travel like i love i i tend to leave things to last minute like i i remember traveling a lot in europe and i wouldn't build itineraries before i went i would just land in a place make sure i had accommodation for the most part but then just explore and leave it up to fate like i'm very much um a free spirit <laughs> I finished loading up these bins for my parents place and you know what I did really good they're not even totally stuffed full which is great and I'm just gonna pop the last little bit in this one there's like a photo wrapped in here that my parents gave me a piece of art and there we go there's one there's the other I'll let you guys know how much these cost. I think they're gonna be around $200 each to ship out to Vancouver Island. take one last view of the Hotel Cali view that I manifested.
that's it. Sam just came by to pick some things up and soon Nicole's gonna be here to help me transport the rest of this and ship these boxes to my parents and that's a wrap. Tomorrow I'll be back here at 1 p.m. for my inspection and that's it. That's it, that's a wrap on Hotel Cali. So yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna end the vlog here. You guys, we did it. I literally sold er or donated everything that I owned and we are about to go on the adventure of a lifetime.